Let's get going. Hmm. Did I did I update this title? Did I update this title? Beanie, don't go. Beanie, I got a treat for you. Please come back. Don't leave. You get a treat in just a minute. I promised you, and I'm gonna make good on that promise. Just let me, let me do the things first. Let me make sure that things are working. Let me welcome everybody on in. If you are in the future on YouTube, uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures, for all, all the nail art things. And if you'd like to join me live, you can come drop a follow over at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. Um, and if you want to be notified when I'm streaming, no, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Colette MSLP also, but I, I'm not a good Twitter person. I don't get it. I'm a, just like, give me two seconds, Beanie, two seconds. Uh, so we're going to do a Twitter, we're going to do a Discord, and then we're going to take off the five rose gold rings. Maybe we'll have one last moment of flash time, flash light time with it uh, before we take it off, because this was really pretty to wear. Um, Basenji, thank you for the host. I don't think any of my mods are here yet. I hope I typed that, spelled that correctly. Um, okay, focus, focus, um, live with uh, Saturday nail art. Maybe some more pixie dust stripes. Don't leave, Beanie, I have the treats. Beanie, I told you I have the treats. You just have to like hang out while I just do the things. Yeah, they're for you. They are. They're your treats. You just have to wait like a second. <laughs> he keeps trying to ditch you guys. I don't know how I'm possibly going to be able to keep him here. Can't you just settle down in your chair, buddy? Um. Oops, no. What button did I just push there? I don't want that. Oh, God, you guys. Hi. I'm a little bit scattered. What else is new? And my pants are so, like, floaty and long. They're, like, palazzo pants or whatever that, like, I keep rolling over them with my chair. Okay. Tweet. Um, accomplished. Let's do a Discord message. And then let's give Beanie his treat. Even though that probably means that he will ditch out on us and, and leave us very sad and lonely. Oh, oh be Beanie, I, I don't even know if you deserve this treat anymore. The way you keep trying to ditch out like you have somewhere better to be, sir. One of your other many luxurious resting spots around the house. Um... Okay. Discord. <sighs> Say goodbye to Beanie, everyone, because he's probably 100% ditching us. Hello. Okay. Hello, Basenji, Sun, Athelus, Buttspot. <laughs> yeah. Here's here's the treat for coming wall for coming in here, and then you'll probably just ditch out. That wasn't very uh, coordinated, Beanie. Why don't you get up? You gonna get up in your chair? Or you gonna ditch me? Get in your chair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey yo. Okay, so we've still got the rose gold rings on. I mean, he's he's a cat. <laughs> we'll just fill the chair up with nail polish instead. So I kind of feel like I want to do some more kind of like freehand stripey something with the pixie dusts. So step one today is going to be pulling out some pixie dusts. 
like probably not the ones that I used before, although I wouldn't rule it out if I really did like find something in this color combination because I've still got these out from the last trapping that we did. Was that actually just last weekend? I don't care. Hey, Doc. So probably not with these colors, even though these are nice colors, unless I uh, need them to fill in some gaps and whatever we decide here. So let's pull out... Oh, now some of these we used in the blue and turquoise one. Do we want to reuse those? I think that's is that these. Is that right? So maybe not these either because we just used these. Even though they're pretty. Unless we have some gaps to fill in. Asterisk. All right. What else do we have? Okay. Well, no wait. Oh, you. I don't think you were in that one. You're you're like too green. Plus, you're like not shook up at all. I was just getting ready to say I didn't think there were any other pixie dusts in this drawer. And then I saw this one. Alright, so this is like a really nice, like really, kind of like a very Christmassy sort of a green. You going to focus your camera? Okay. I think that I played Hollow Knight like slightly too long the other night. My thumb has like a slightly numb, just like a little corner. Is that really bad, Dr. Crotron? Hi, Karen. <clears throat> hey, music gal. We are currently pulling pixie dust because I think I want to do some more pixie dust things. Mm. Okay, no pixie dust in that drawer, apparently. Okay, here are some pixie dusts. I think there are some... What are these velvety ones? Okay, we got this gray one. Oh, wait, that's not the one. Yeah, see, so most of the pixie dusts... Well, all, all the pixie dusts have this matte cap. But Zoya's uh, matte velvets also have the matte cap. So the matte cap does not automatically mean pixie dust is what I was trying to get at. Hey, Amethyst. I hope so. I, I kind of have a direction, but I'm not fully sure. This is a chunky, this is like a really chunky one. And y'all, I know y'all can see the hollow in there. Let Dino be summoned forth. <laughs> I've got, a, I've, I mean, a lot of the pixie dusts actually have like some hollow in them. This one has hollow. Ooh. See a little bit of it. This one has hollow. Ooh, camera's picking that up nicely. Hello. Um. Oh, look, we've hit the section that has uh, the polishes we used for the the monarch. Oh, that was such a good manicure, you guys. That was such a good manicure. All right, and then we get like. Oh, that's good. I'm glad he's having fun. Alright, so this is another hollow one. Like, in a lot of, some of them are like a finer hollow, some of them are like a chunkier hollow. Um. Okay, we've got like some pinkier ones. This is another matte velvet. Like pinky and red. I have a lot. I have a lot of pixie dust, you guys. Actual red. Chonky hollow blue. Oh. <laughs> um, chonky hollow berry. Your glitters are all stuck together, but I'm sure we could work it out, Pixie Dust. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, sorry. I don't know why shiny things make me do weird sound effects. It's just, it's just unavoidable. Hmm. Oh. 
Ooh, Black Hollow. Hell yeah. I mean, some of the pixie dusts aren't all that, but they're still pretty. Like, this is just this, like, khaki, but it's got, like, this silvery glitteriness to it. Okay, there's another matte velvet. Um, matte velvet. Okay. Oh, no. Ooh, look at you. You're like... Can this count as coral? I think. Ooh, look at that gold shimmer, that hollow. I'll I'll tell you guys names too, as I as I start like going through them and narrowing it down. Um, I don't think this is quite everything yet though, because I think there's some in the bottom couple drawers. Like sometimes I do stuff like this, and then they all end up like together but then almost unavoidably there's like some other stuff that doesn't get in here these are all satins in here i think i got a whole collection of those um maybe i lied maybe this is all of them i feel like i'm missing a couple though maybe they're way down here the last zoya drawer Velvet. Velvet. Whoa. Sorry, fan. Uh, velvet. Ooh. Pixie dust. The coral one is, uh, Zoe. found another chunky chunky hollow baby oh sorry <laughs> I don't know why I'm apologizing to you ain't none of you mad at me for doing it I just feel a little bit silly so I feel the need to apologize ah here we go I knew we were missing this one so I'm glad I didn't have to go searching for the actual black Mm. okay I think that's all there might be a couple that are uh, like out and about somewhere I mean that's super possible I, I, man I hope I can break myself of this habit once I'm actually fully organized because I'm horrible at putting nail polish away okay so we have Let's let's organize these like darkest together in like rainbowy order. Like I said, we're skipping some, but these are the ones that are under our consideration. And then we'll like work up to like these goldy gold ones and like these neutrals. So we'll put these like up here and our green. Got another blue. Got this. This is like more of a gray. We can put that like kind of over here. Mm. Or maybe I want to like, ooh, let's go like that could go in there and this here. Mm. Got all these corals and pinks and oranges and reds. And top row is a lot longer <laughs> let me let me adjust here there is that okay oh. oh you guys am i i should zoom out just a little bit sorry there just just a tad so these are the polishes under our consideration today. <laughs> Wait, what is this? I want to see. I want to see. Where are you opening thing? Over here. What is it? 
Not only do I wear nail polish, but even when I did, I only ever wore black and just hoarded the other 20 colors. <laughs> oh, do I not wear nail polish, but even when I did, I only ever wore black and just hoarded the other 20 colors I owned without using them. It's a complete waste of money to buy any. Crow brain. Buy pretty, shiny, bring home, and put nest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The first one worked for me. I'm just seeing that it was posted again. Yeah, that is weird. Uh oh. Uh oh, where'd you come from? <laughs> Kittens, hello. Thank you for the host. God, do I have some glue here? We got a. Uh, Imogen. Yes. Camera. Camera. Camera, please. There we go. <laughs> Yo, thank you. 11 months. Holy crap. Which one is Nyx? This one. Okay, we got to glue this back on here, you guys. I swear this happens to me more with Zoya labels than with any other polish. Zoya, why, why don't you stick your labels on better, please? I love you. I think you are my most owned polish. Maybe that's why I just have had more labels pop off because I have more labels to pop off. I suppose that's possible. I'm just using like a little bit of nail glue to stick it back on the bottom. <laughs> the rare need for a nap. Enjoy your napping lurk. I, I sent all my lurkers to you the other night because it was late and like there was nobody on and I was like, I think a whole lot of the people that are in my chat right now are asleep anyway or close to it. And one person in particular said they're like, I hope I don't get raided anywhere weird because I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> So I was like, this should be, this should be pleasant dreams, a pleasant dreams making raid. I mean, I, if, if, okay, so it seems to happen way more to stuff on the bottom. On the other hand, I don't like names on the top of the lid. Cause that's where I'm planning to put my cabochons, um, stickers or just like actual printing. I don't know how the fuck they get words on here, but like having it just like on the bottle, is so much better. I understand that like actually like putting the name on like this would be limiting, but like a sticker like on the side of the bottle, I feel like age is better or I don't know, maybe they should have a square sticker to fit their square bottom. Although the circle is fairly decently sized to fit. I think I can see the white balance struggling a little bit. I think I'm just going to turn it off and leave it like that. And the, zo the focus is having a little bit of trouble too, but we'll see if we can fool it into. Fool you focus? Oh, I did. Nope, then it went out of focus again. Like, what What do you want? But, ooh, look at, look at how pretty that hollow looks right there. When I put my hands just right to block some of the ring light glare. I wish, I mean, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Like, to have good lighting, you end up with glare. Like, it's it's kind of inevitable, but sometimes it's, like, super frustrating. Especially when it's, like, on the bottles and it really does seem to affect the focusing very much. Oh, wow, like, fully half of a music out. <clears throat> Excuse me. It does seem kind of fall toned. I mean, the ones we're leaving out. So, okay, we just used, this is like all my pixie dust except for these, which we just used. So we're not focusing on these, but I wouldn't be averse to like adding them in if it felt like they made sense, whatever I pick. And then these, which were the other striped one that I did, which I'm also, like I said, not averse to including if they happen to fit 
Um, I wish that the camera would would focus a little better on these. Maybe I'll need to turn it off and go manual. Mm. Unless it'll... <sighs> Almost. Come on, camera. Like, it'll... It'll snap into focus. Like that. And then it's like, can you just, like, stay like that? No! It, like, just pops instantly back out of focus. Let's see if I can... And I just, I, I like it when I can just get it to like stay in focus and then I can turn off the focus without having to manually drag it around myself. There. Now, as far as from like painting with them perspective, I think I'm going to be better off with the less chunky ones. Because, like, these big hex glitters are going to be kind of difficult to manage with, like, a little, you know, hard hands with polish in the middle. I'm not, okay, well, it's upside down. Can I? <laughs> it's weird and backwards. Feels feels very improper. Or are you supposed to go like like this? But then you can see my fingers in the background. How do I get my fingers out of the way? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stop that because I'm so bad at it. They already have Vespa and are now adding Vesper. That's pretty freaking close. Okay, so did I do it when I wasn't even paying attention? I swear I'm such a spaz. So I don't think that these gorgeous, lovely, gigantic, hollow hex glitters are going to play nicely with me hand painting. So all the ones that are like this formula are going back in the drawer. So, oops, cords, please. Out of the way here. Let's just open up this drawer and start putting them in here. So this lovely that I keep like just being enchanted by Oops, I turned off the autofocus, didn't I? This is Thea. And we've got this beautiful chunky blue. Oh, roll. This is Nori. Beautiful chunky black. Hmm. Imogen. Um, this is kind of like champagne. These two are kind of similar. This one like doesn't have as big of a hex though. And it's golder. Can the camera pick that up? Like so there's like a couple different levels of, of chunkiness and pixie dust. This one really has a large like extra large hollow glitter in it. This one has a chunky hollow glitter in it, but I mean, you can see how much smaller it is in comparison to that one. So I think that one's going to stand, but this one's going to go back in the drawer. And this is Lux. Oh, it is like super pretty. It's like champagne and hollow. Is this one Tomoko? No, this is Cosmo. Where's Tomoko? Okay, so there are definitely some pixie dust somewhere else. There's definitely some pixie dust somewhere else. Because, yeah, Tomoko is a very similarly colored neutral pixie dust. I wonder... I'm just, like, looking around and considering. Like, there's... You know, I know what's in the disorganization for the most part, I thought... I don't know. Um, this one is more like this level of, of sparkle than like the other level of sparkle. And so actually is this one. Like I, 
Is it weird that I want to go in this direction? Like, I don't usually ever like this color. Like, what would I put with this? One of these, probably. Or both of these. Like these pinky juicy colors with an orange. I mean, that's feeling very much more summery. I don't think the red necessarily, oops, plays nice with, well, no. The red is, of course, the red actually has, can I get an angle where you can see? Like, in person, I can actually see some pink glitters in this red. The camera is not, oh, there. See, like, at the bottom, see those little glowing hints of like not red that's interesting I never looked at this that close before does this go in here I don't know if it does we'll put that in a maybe I don't think we're going to be using this green we'll put that away this is uh, Elfie it's the one I said was very Christmassy I don't think we're going to go this grayed out direction, so we'll put this away. The sage. Oh, it's Vespa. <laughs> Music out. Uh, and NYX. Actually, well, yeah, I guess that nail glue is pretty much dry. Actually, I'm, I'm going to leave NYX out to finish letting the label dry instead of putting it back in the drawer. Just out of an uh, abundance of caution. Um, okay, so... Do we want to go this orange? Like, I feel like maybe not, but maybe. Probably not to this level of neutral. This is Godiva. This is the one I said was like khaki and silver. I feel like this is pretty because this is more gold leaning. Plus it has like a little bit of hollow. Like that could get up in there. I feel like these are too textural. Like, they would be too contrasty. Like, this one has kind of a larger glitter to it, but it's... It's not quite as large, I think, as the one in these two. So, this is Cosmo. This is Vega. We're going to put those away. Oh, I've got a little... I got. I think I have, like, a little scratch on my finger, and it just... It's at that stage where it itches. Like, I literally can't even see it, but I can feel it when I'm itching. And it's kind of super, super irritating. Um, I don't think we're going to need any of these. Because we're not going that direction. So this is CC, Cheetah, Waverly, Bay, and Liberty. Which I am happy about because like I said, I just used those. And I just, I don't know, I feel like I should use something else red how do I feel about the red the gray the gray can go this is London huh like London fog like a really neutral kind of like more of a browner leaning gray it's still gray but it's like you know you know grays have personality and then like heavy silver shimmer also and I guess I haven't even mentioned because I just assume that everybody knows pixie dusts are uh, a textured matte glitter throughout the whole line they have some differences as I've shown but generally speaking, you're going to have a textured matte glitter finish. And if you're like, matte glitter? What the fuck? That's an oxymoron. It's not. I mean, once you see it. Where did, where did my little... Yeah. Matte glitter. These were our little lid peelies. And I mean, they can get shiny. There's the, the back side of the lid. Now, just imagine two with like top coat. But their natural finish comes out like this. Which is beautiful. And annoying as fuck. Personally. I need to like, you know, when you just. When I have matte or when I have something like that on my nails, it's just like. I like it to be smooth. Yeah, like a paper cut or like a beanie scratch or something. 
it's probably like right in and i'm just like sitting here like <sighs> like it's just so bad and i'm not gonna be able to do that like as soon as i start painting my nails um so or i could just go like a completely different version and just go like red and black Maybe I should do that later. <laughs> um, like pixie dusts are polish and glitter is like glitter in clear polish for the most part. Like there are some pixie dusts that are more sheer than others, but like, they they have a decent amount of color to them um whereas like a regular glitter do i like have a regular glitter out here of course not do i have a glitter over here mm, not really oh not is this a glitter no this is kind of a glitter but it almost doesn't even count because these are so like intense these are more like if pixie dusts were glossy like this is a full-on glitter but it's like really opaque i've gotta have just like a glitter i guess a glitter would be closer to like okay this isn't a glitter but it's like you know flakies flakies are a kind of glitter and like if you wanted to paint with that but i mean like you're screwed because the base is all clear and the amount of like futzing around it would take to get the actual enough of the glitter pieces to like make it opaque as far as painting so i mean pixie dusts are for sure glitter relative but they're not they're they're their own thing if that makes sense like gl glitters if you want the maximum payout in a lot of cases you're going to end up having to sponge it on instead of doing like five coats pixie dusts apply like regular polish all of them music gal or which one like these like i feel like this is like slightly too many i feel kind of like i want to pull these out i'm not sure if i want to keep this one in or not i feel like it pulls a lot of the gold that's in here because this has like so much gold undertone and then i feel like probably i really only need like three two out of these three and like, do I want to go like an orange route? Like probably this one, this is like the middle one. And then do I want to go like orange or pinker? I mean, kind of, I'm leaning toward orange because this is like a coral. Do like these, but then like, I don't know, like this pink is nice too. Can I fit them all? Like, do I want to do like, like i don't know i like where this is going but i don't which one are you calling the super vibrant one this one the orange you know what part of it is this this pink does not have a golden undertone and it kind of catches my eye when it's in line with these three, which would make me kind of want to go like this direction. Is that what I just did? I don't even, which one, which two were on your right? What did I just do here? I did like this and this was here. So you wanted it like that. But if I take that out and do this, or order them a little bit differently no that doesn't look good well we're not okay so another thing is we're not we're not doing stripes necessarily here this one like that i don't like the silver undertone though i wonder how much that'll actually you know what 
Time for swatches. Ooh, I had like a ooh, ooh sound in there. Time for swatches. Um, where's the swatching? Okay, it is here. Under my Hollow Knight maps. God, this mapping thing is getting out of hand. Um, like fucking out of hand for real. Let's start a page here. I think these are probably, these are going back in there. We're not using these. This is Beatrice and Solange. And they were used in the Monarch Wings anyway, which wasn't exactly recent. But it stands out in my mind. Today is the 27th. All right, let's, okay, this is Levi. So you can see here, like as far as like painting, like we're, we have good coverage. They're, I wouldn't say they're fully, fully opaque in one coat as far as like if you were to do a manicure, but as far as like, you know, painting with them, like, yeah, you can get some decent opacity in just one coat. Dino, you missed some of the epic hollow, but we, we still have some hollow here. So just some of the more epic hollow got put away because it's, it was too, it was too, it was too chunky. This one is a little bit more sheer, but still like nice to work with and buildable. Then we have, oh, this is uh, Zoe. This next one is uh, Linz. L Linz. Like Lindsay, but only Linz. I find it so difficult to enunciate. <laughs> like I wanted to say Linz, like with no D. Ooh, that's not what I expected. That's pinker and darker than I expected. Like the the golden. Where where's my golden? Wow. You guys like it. You guys are down. Like hell yeah. Uh the pink Miranda. I don't know why I'm showing you because I turned off the autofocus, so I can't focus on the name, so I need to stop doing that. Um, oh, you are more sheer than I expected, but you're still buildable. You're alright. Oh, that would need to be switched. They would have to go, well, not necessarily need to. Um, that's lighter than I expected though. Like the first one was darker and then, well, the third one, the this, this one was darker. And then this is kind of actually lighter than I expected. And then this is the, you know, like you're not, you're not getting barely any of that goldenness. Okay, let's just pop on the orange here for fun. That's true. What does Zoe look like on the site? I'm curious. Oh, it looks very pink there. A classic pink textured pixie dust textured with lace of a fine gold and medium-sized holographic hexes. I would not describe this as classic pink. And I don't feel like the color has changed. Like we've been discussing recently like how pink is particularly susceptible to aging out of polishes in some case. As in the example of five rose gold rings which wasn't rose gold anymore for a time. But I, I really think this is much more, I mean, unless it's really just that the gold shimmer is that heavy that it makes it appear coral, but I, I feel like when I can see through to the undercolor, the word that comes to mind is not pink. Look at these pictures. It looks pinker in the pictures too. Maybe it really is the gold that's doing this. And as we can see, of course, no, even here, like it's definitely got an orange cast to it. Are these pictures wrong or is my bottle changing color, you guys? This, yeah, I'm just, I'm looking at the, the swatches. 
Um, I think go to go to this one. The one looks like a more like what mine looks like, where they're wearing it like as accent nails with Sawyer, which is an orange. Huh. I don't know what to tell you. This is what color my bottle is. Um, camera's doing a really good job. This is very color accurate to what I'm seeing. It's picking up a little bit more of the gold than I'm seeing at all angles. Like, very moderately, but pretty good. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, even even like a lot of the Instagram ones that I felt like looked pinker than mine did. Oh, and this is looking like a little juicier and pinker than I expected. Now look at that. Like it's still orange, but it's got like a pinker shade to it than it looks in the ball. Like, man, pick, Pixie Dust be lying. Like, based on these, I kind of want to do this one, this one, this one, and this one. Or, or in this one too, but like, switch it. Do like... I, d I don't know. What do you guys think? You agree? And then put the orange, like switch this one and the orange. You like the dark one, Dino? One, two, five, four, three. That's kind of what I, let's just see how that looks. I love that a lot of you guys also can like work upside down with me. Or I'm wrong and you're not and you're saying it from your direction and this is about to be in completely the wrong order but I think you're seeing what I'm thinking. One, two, five, four. Three. Let's, uh, let's try some things. Can I clean off this lid here, please? Get off of here. Um. You think one, two, four, five music, Al? So, like. Wait, that's not right. <laughs> Fuck, it does look better in that order, though. No, it should have been one, two, four, five. I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling. See, that's the darker one. Like when I just switch it out like that, like it just, it looks out of place here. Cause like it got in the wrong place. Cause it lied to us in the bottle, but like here it actually fits where the orange kind of looks like it doesn't fit. Yeah, I think we're gonna. Oh God, we're going. We're going like really pink, you guys. The fuck? Who am I? <laughs> mm. 
Okay, so I have two kind of pattern ideas. So let's, like, my first idea was to try and, like, hand draw swirls. Like, which I think would probably take, like, a couple different obvious directions or could take a couple obvious directions. Let's draw some really bad fake nails. Shapes. Loose, loosely interpreted. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need some acetone in a minute here, too. Okay, so, like, I wonder what I want to do, like... We got four colors here, so we want to do, like, eight pinwheels? Or we want to do, like, twelve pinwheels. Like, with eight... We'd want to, like, start out... Like, opposite each other. If we did 12, then we would need three. So that would probably be like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh goodness. A spiral is gonna be harder than I think it is, isn't it, you guys? Cause the like the lines aren't even. You gotta like taper them toward the middle and then like make them fatter toward the edges. Like, can I? Am I capable of like making that look not janky? I don't know. Um, acetone. Yeah, there is gold in there balancing out. But honestly, like I hate coral even worse than pink. Half circles? Like stacked on top of each other? I don't know if that made sense. Oh, and the other design thought, which is not pinwheels, and is just like. So, and this one might be harder to like even out, but just like. dashes. Like, and then till the whole nail is covered. Okay. Whoa, whoa, paintbrush jumping out of my hands. Next color. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't see pink. I see, like, whatever. I don't care if your website agrees with me, Zoya. So then we'd have one come in like here and then like over here. Or here, here, and here. Mm. Dude, I don't know. Maybe it'll look good when I'm done. It's super coral in the circle of life. Oh, that was really bad. Sorry. I'm getting like hoarser as we go along. I apologize. So let's so like get some more of this in here. Okay, next color would be the pinkity pink, the non the non gold standout. So the last section is kind of chunky. I mean, I suppose I could go back and touch up like the gold and make that thicker too, but. Hmm not sucking which as you guys know my like my highest praise <laughs> of myself see like with this one I either would need to like come back 
and touch up the gold. I would need to be more even and intentional from the start or I would need to have a background color that I wouldn't mind seeing through. All right, and then the darkest. Which would fill in here. And the other side. See, this is, I made this lopsided. Needs more intentional spacing. Or, or, I need to make shit really intentionally lopsided. You know what I mean? That one just looks very messy, I think. The dashed line one. What do you guys think? Mm. Like, I'm not super mad at the pinwheel. Either of them. But I'm not like, oh, I can't wait to get this on my nails. Which I kind of would like to be. <laughs> like torn flesh. Oh my god. The sparkliest torn flesh ever. I, oh. This is kind of uncomfortable too. This scarf doesn't have enough stretch. I feel like it could flip off at any moment I mean like okay what else could I do with these I could do like some kind of like waterfall design I could do like some kind of dripping design I could like I like the colors I like the colors I'm just super unimpressed with my pinwheels like you really see me freehand in circles though dino like okay now correct me if i'm wrong too i'm not sure if i'm properly envisioning your vision let's get our little okay that's very small but we'll work with it are you picturing it like coming from the tip am i supposed to like do like a half circle like this Whoa, whoa, way to get polish on my new cheap pants. <laughs> Let's uh, see if I can get this off. Okay, that actually worked quite well. Oh, starting at the cuticle. Oops. <laughs> God, I why can't I even draw a nail shape at all, you guys? Well, but then like, does this, does the bottom one get to be a whole circle? Cause it's next to the cuticle or is it still like a half circle? Or is it like a half moon? Cause your cuticle isn't really as round as my little drawn on cuticle here. <laughs> Son. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Dino with the rhinestones. Okay, like. And then, like, another half circle or, like, an edge. I mean, we could draw, like, another half circle on this one since this one is the wrong direction anyway. That's not going to be room for four thingies. Or do you guys mean just, like, a, an edge, like, bloop, like that? this one god they're so messy 
and then just keep going up. Whoa, I almost dropped this brush again. Hmm. And then repeat or leave it whatever my base color is. <laughs> yeah, I need a drink. I need a drink for this. Like, none of these is just quite right. Like, this isn't what I want. What do you want, Colette? Fuck if I know. <laughs> I mean, I could just like be way 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 less complicated than I'm trying to be like we could go minim minimal I have trouble even saying this word we could just do like minimal and do like like an angled French tip sort of a thing and not like cover the whole nail Like, keep it a little bit thicker and chonkier. Or do corners. We could do, like, corners like we were talking about with the last one. Except then we, like, continued and did the whole nail. of you where am I okay here's one thoughts are happening inside my brain here's one no. this is gonna look horrible I might have to change. I might. Okay. Tryptophobia people. Peace the fuck out right now. I'm warning you. <laughs> All right. Gold. Paint around the cuticle carefully. Who am I? Since when do I try to paint neat? Okay. Give it a minute. I'm so impatient. We're not waiting. Biggest old one is probably this one. You're kind of dirty. Big dot. Wow, that's really big. Okay, I picked up like a lot of polish and the base is still wet. Not quite that big. More like that. Not that small either. Wow, I'm going to have to work on like dot consistency. Of course, if I waited for it to be dry, that would be much easier. That's that's a fact. But then, okay, we got big boy. Where's like medium boy? Like this one. Some of you probably have already guessed where I'm going and like why I realized that this is going to look kind of gross. <laughs> but if there, I should really be waiting for him to dry to get an accurate look here. And then like, where's the smallest, it's like this guy. I 
I'm not sure if it's even discernible though. Maybe if I waited for them to dry, it would be more discernible. Can you see what I was do Wow, camera's not helping me out here. Oh no, I get comments on the blo the drip drop blobicures. Like when you start, I think it's like, you know, if you have it, then you can picture almost any kind of dot as like a hole. Yeah, it would. That's another fair point, Musical. Mm. Mm hmm. Mer I think part of the problem that I'm having with these is that I like them together more than I like them right next to each other. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, here and they're next to each other versus like here where they're like right next to each other. I don't know what to do about these feelings that I'm having. You guys. I mean, I could do a white base. And then like... Mm, and then what though? Like try to do this and maintain like neat white lines in between. This you might as well just not even look at because I don't like it. This same kind of a problem. Okay, so like the pixie dusts, like part of the reason I put them right up next to each other is because like they're very difficult to get like a clean line with because they're like they're sparkly, they're textured, they're gritty. Hey, Elise, that is an adorable. Is that a lurk? That's an adorable lurk. Now, Musical, that's an interesting thought of doing, like, if I'm understanding what you're typing correctly, which may not be possible, like, instead of just doing them all on a finger, it's like finger, 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 finger. Of course, then we have a thumb. Like, one on each finger. Is this what you're saying to me? Part of me just wants to put this like at the back burner of my brain to simmer for a while and think about. Yeah, I feel like you, you would get a really smooth gradient. Pixie dust kind of are a pain in the butt to gradient with. They're really pretty one if you like stick with it though. Because so much of the glitter sits on top of the sponge, it's like you don't you don't get a lot of like that's my back and forth sound I guess um mm, meh mm, I mean I know I'm like I said I like the colors but I do not like any of these I don't want to put any of these on my nails and I kind of want to just like let it simmer in the back of my head I, I do have a backup plan like if this testing failed really tall classy snowman made of glitter i i see what you're saying are you picturing from the with the snowman's body at the cuticle musicale or snowman's body at the uh 
at the nail tip. I don't know if I'd be able to do that with uh, dotting tools. I'm not very good with dotting tools, I've realized. Maybe we need to do more dotacures, you guys. If I were going to go straight up dotacure, though, would I pick these colors? Probably not. I'd probably pick some of the colors that we already put away. Gold head or dark head? I kind of feel like the darker one should be the larger one. Horrible, horrible little fake nail shapes. All right, let's try a couple things. Even though I'm leaning toward, I don't know. We have to have room for three or four like four seems like not a traditional amount of snowman shapes so Be like this or it could be like right the one at the top next to the gold this one yeah this is actually like the gold and then like the three different colors it's so hard like the camera's not doing it oh damn it the camera's not doing it any favors. It's really dark even in person though, too. Let's let's finish exploring the the snowman idea. I mean, I also like, I don't know. I always feel a little bit guilty when I start experimenting on something new without doing some of the other stuff that we already experimented on but haven't done yet. Like the sunset gradient that we did the other day that we decided just needed something a little bit, something just a little bit more to it. But we never decided what? Oh, I'm off camera. Sorry, guys. Thank you, music gal. So I'm trying top and bottom colors on the big side and colors on the smaller side. If I didn't say that out loud. I actually kind of like this. I don't know if I'd want to do it with a brush or if I'd want to attempt to do it with dotting tools. Partly because like the biggest snowman body part is going to end up too big for like even my biggest dotting tool. I should I should get like a sewing needle pin with like a bigger end than cuz I think like this is my largest dotting tool which I mean it looks kind of honking but it's not actually that large. I I've, I've had several occasions where I actually would love to have a larger one. That could have been a little smaller. Of course, too, how are my little fake nail shapes that are such horribly shaped shapes to my current length? We have a little bit more length than that. So we would have whatever base color peeking through. I kind of like it. Kind of. kind of would like to see what it looks like with a black background too because you know me <laughs> oh the one next to it this one the beachy snowman <laughs> oh yeah sometimes i have used like this end 
that's pretty like compared to the large dotting tool it's a it's a step up bigger but I don't I don't know I, I don't like it as much as the dotting tool like I'm all for making your own dotting tools but I I like to actually prefer real dotting tools the top right from my view top right this one this I'm like trying to like point at it without smudging it or any of the adjacent ones hmm <sighs> I think I mm, yeah my other thought was like doing like this one except with like a square like a square shape either like you know coming in from the corner or like a reverse chevron French tip shape Or, I mean, I suppose could be traditional chevron French tip shape. That's so messy. Or it could be some kind of funky half moon shape. Like a pointed half moon. I kind of like the idea of a pointed half moon now that I think about that. Yeah, I so with all with all these, let's let's number them. Well, they're numbered for me. Hopefully you guys can still read that upside down. Like I don't feel like I have a super big preference between them. I actually think I kind of like 2 and 4 the most, but not like drastically the most. I want to try and do like I have to get some more out. These dry so fast too on the lid. Uh. Let's see how this looks. I mean, the question with any of these two in which we have uh, you know some I mean it wouldn't necessarily be negative space but like the space that we're not painting is what's that base color like the other couple pixie dust that we've done lately we've been using Trixie as a base color because a lot of them were leaning more silver like this is a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be with this little stack triangle and it's lopsided we've used Trixie as a base because we were leaning more silver but now we're leaning more gold would I want to just do the gold as a base and then just paint the others on top of it and then we would just have more gold up here would we want to do white or black yeah the the corners end up kind of what what word do i even want to blunted that would be good like we did uh the purples and we had some angles and i actually wasn't mad with how the do i have a picture that i could pop up mm. whoa for anybody who didn't see let me open this up real quick because it's not on youtube yet because uh, you know that whole behind on editing thing the, I think the next one I have to edit is the gradient stamping so when was that that was last Saturday we did that okay where's a good okay so window capture this one okay um shit it's so huge hold on you guys sorry and i'm gonna have to just like resize all there we'll just we'll just do like that L little bit ghetto this is last week's what we call this 
pixie dust stripes or purple stripes or pink pink and purples whatever like the corners are not like ooh, look at that sharp corner but like they're decent i i was pleased with how those corners turned out so i i don't think i'd be able to get it any better than that but like when you can kind of clean up the it's it's hard to paint them in a corner it's easier like when you're cleaning up the next one to like kind of square off the previous one's edges a little bit more so like that would be like this is still pretty messy but i could i could get it sharper than that definitely that's our baseline and the other one how long ago was the other one you guys does anybody remember beginning of June uh, before the psychedelic water marble May are we going back to May um, there we go it was it was mid May so let me yeah that's not the best one but it'll work so this is the other one that we did in the blues and greens. And we did I like we didn't do corners. But like those turned out pretty good too. Not super clean lines. I think I actually ended up with better cleaner lines than the pink and purple version. But that's like I I really just liked how glittery and nice those turned out. So that's like where I'm aiming. Plus, that's like where the bar is set. Maybe I'm trying to do this too soon after the other one, and that's why I'm just kind of like not pleased. Because we just did the purple and pink last weekend. Yeah, I did. I got the... And I decided... I don't know if you were here when I was talking about it, Music Out. I think one of the reasons that one in particular was so hard to get edited was because I hated how that one showed up on camera. Hated it. Um... We're going to let this simmer in our brain for a minute. And we're going to take off five rose gold rings. But first we're going to have flashlight time. Okay, stay right there, notebook. Oh, thank you, Music Gal. I, I mean, sometimes I can paint a straighter line than others. And magically, again, we don't have any cotton over here, so I need just two seconds to run over. And, uh, did I ever show you guys? Like, this is what my salon box looks like now. So, it used to be, like, twice this tall. Um, and I was like, man, like, it's not that full anymore. I need to get this a little bit smaller. So I cut it in half, and then I, like, shoop slooped it down um and now it's that size and i've had that thing for so many years i bought that when i first started my blog so that salon box is almost fucking 10 years old it's kind of ridiculous yeah well there's that too karen i feel like these are closer to each other than like the purple and pink combos were or like the well of course of course it is because they're all like pinks and the other ones were all like multiple colors um i don't know if i'm gonna need to soak these off or not oh flashlight time i almost forgot you guys i'm so sorry all right Mmm. Mm. Yes. Sparkles, glows, the rainbows, all good things <gasps> must come to an end. <laughs> yeah, at least. Plus, like, no chips, you guys. Um, the formula does not seem to have been impacted too badly by uh, the frankening process. So the story behind this this polish, which is here, 
and you can still kind of see like in the bottle it's easier to see under the ring lights like some of the hollow um it's five rose gold rings by colors by laro and when i initially pulled it out it was not rose anymore and we went through a process of frankening it back to its original color and then like i wanted to wear it and then i realized that hey i just been shaking multiple polishes into this it's kind of stubborn i think i'm gonna soak it i've been shaking multiple polishes into it and it's all bubbly and i probably should wait so i waited like a week before i uh actually was able to wear it again but that was an example of the pink just not hanging in there very well i mean that's not even a super old polish that is i think i want to say christmas 2017 collection somebody can correct me if i'm wrong but that's not like a super elderly polish yeah i think it was interesting too music gal how you still had your initial swatch i did um of course i didn't really test it prior to frankening but this is only two coats so i didn't need three coats on the manicure but i did you know mix in i used some jellies and some opaque hollows for the frankening the frankening um so yeah i don't know war war well though I'm, I'm pleased that I did it. Yeah, see, I feel like that's... To me, like, not a long time in terms of nail polish. Even though, okay, nail polish expires in, what, six months to a year? What do they even suggest? Like, something really just absurd. Like, anybody, you getting rid of your nail polish that quickly, please give it to me. I will give it a loving home inside of my Helmers. Or in a snug shoe box mm. yeah mine I think is a little bit older than that music gal because I think I probably I recall getting the whole Christmas collection that year so I think I probably bought it at release like in December so mine's probably like six months older than yours but it's a negligible amount of time all right so just a little bit of soaky soak i don't think these are gonna take like a, a super long amount of time but it was kind of a little bit stubborn on the pinky so yeah there we go that's fine Yeah, I only have like two thermal polishes and they're quite old. I haven't pulled them out recently, so I don't know if they still work or not. I would be able to do a pretty decent comparison because I remember using one of them to do a, a YouTube video where I like showed the thermal qualities. I had like a cup of hot water and a cup of cold water. It was very unique at the time because it was one of the uh, first like non-tutorials on my channel I want to say and I felt kind of weird doing it like why am I doing this <laughs> it's not a tutorial it's like showing this off but it was a it was a fun video so when thermals get stuck do they get stuck hot or cold or does it depend or is it like somewhere in between <laughs> hey touche yeah prob probably not hollow knight themed nail art today actual fingernail art <laughs> i've only done hollow knight nail art once it was pretty good i should do it again though i definitely will be trying to do it when silk song comes out well that will be silk song inspired nails with with some hornet inspiration kind of so it could be either way that's kind of interesting i mean i'm sure it would piss you off but it would also be like fascinating <sighs> we'll do a little bit of cuticle work and then we're gonna have to make up our mind of what exactly we're gonna do here i you know i don't know 
Like, I really want to do the thread. But, like, I was not happy with how the thread turned out. I was looking at my sketchbook the other day, and I was like, oh. I can show you guys once I get this last cotton off, if you want. Anybody that was not here for that testing session, like... That must have been like right after the trailer got released maybe that I started working on it. I mean, I'd love to have something just ready to go. I would love for them to just spring a release date that's like right around the corner on us. Unlikely as that is. It would make me very happy if it could be true. Ugh, I just don't want to wait. Like it's playable. It was playable at uh E3. So like just let us just let us play it. Please. All right, I think we're pretty good here. Um, let's just dump these over here. Close this. Okay, so is this dry? Pretty much. Um, this is one of the things. I I think like if we do this, this is this like the sunset gradient. I want to put like some stamping on it. Um, it's coming. We're getting closer. Was it before water marble? Mar well, yeah, it would have been if it was here. It is. Like, this one is kind of okay, but one of the biggest problems that I had was that, like, I seriously, seriously needed both hands to work with it. And I just don't know how that would work, like, on, on my actual nails. I'm only going to have one hand that I'm going to be able to work with. So, because this the string was just, like, not... I don't know like it's not just like super flowy and loose and wants to stay where you put it it's like you need to like manually like carefully curve it and then like with your other hand like stick it down into whatever of course you know oh you guys you know I mean I would still probably need like a tweezer or something this was before we had our miracle miraculous um, gel foil adhesive which is super super sticky I wonder if that would be useful for doing this. As it stands right now, it's not a ready-to-go manicure. This this consideration of using the foil glue gel, though. Yeah, or a more flexible thread, I guess. I mean, I don't know that much about thread. What do you look for in a flexible thread? I'm not a seamstress, y'all. Mm, that was so pretty, too. Maybe we should just do some reverse stamping with these. I mean, this was the roses that we did, and that was with the new bars. Of course, then that would be black, and that wouldn't be very summertimey, because I think, like, with most of my white stamping polishes, that they're not opaque enough to really care for any, like, too much overdrawing, although maybe I'm wrong. Mm. Hum. Go to the craft store and touch some thread. I suppose I will say, I mean, just from my own experience with like uh, cross stitching and stuff, I feel like cross stitch thread um, is is softer and more flexible than like sewing your button on thread, which I mean, makes sense because cross stitch is just decorative and your button needs to stay on your shirt or pants or dress or overalls. I don't know, whatever the fuck you're wearing. And sewing buttons on. You can be sewing buttons on a hat. Okay, the, the lesson is certain threads need to be sturdier than just like crafty threads do. See, look at this. We've been paying attention to our cuticles the last couple weeks and now they're like better. Because we just haven't been ignoring the fuck out of them. Yeah. You know, actually, in fact, that said... I wouldn't even need to go to the craft store for that. I would just need to go in. Can you see them? Right there. One of those boxes is labeled cross-stitch stuff. 
Once upon a time, we even talked about cross-stitching on this very channel, but we have other shit that's still undone, so we can't do that yet. No, in fact, I'm pretty sure I told you guys to scold me if you caught me on here doing cross-stitch before you caught me on here doing swatches. So, I don't want to be scolded. So, can't, can't do that. Can't do that until I do the other thing. Yeah, that makes sense too. Just like pants. Like, so, okay, I had these really, these other pants that I really liked. I was like, ooh, look, they come in solid color. Let me order some in the solid color. And claimed on the item listing that they were the same material. You guys, why is this not the same material? I mean, they're okay, but the other ones are so much more comfy. <sighs> they lied to me, y'all. They manipulated my, my consumer confidence. This is looking really bad too. I might need to do another little small peel. Yeah, look at that. It was already lifted. This nail, I swear, this is like this one and this one with the two little weak spots are my problem nails right now. What do we have here? A hangnail. Goodbye, hangnail. Can't say it was nice to know you, because it wasn't. And... Yeah, it's like everything is worse on this hand. The cuticles are worse. It's peeling. I've got a callus there. It's just a bad situation. Gray. Hell yeah. I really like the gray pixie dust too and I'm kind of I'm kind of sad that, that does not fit in with this color scheme that we were doing. I mean, I suppose we could change color schemes and do any of the designs that I was already thinking of, but I don't want to. I want to kind of use these. Maybe I should just gradient them and then do like a stamp on top. feel like that's taking the easy way out. Of course, I already talked about how gradienting with pixie dust is not easy. So is it really the easy way out? Hmm. Just giving the thumb a little attention. I know I'm off camera. You know, I know that you guys know how thumbs are also, so... <clears throat> Ooh, like a like a lighter to darker gray or or darker to lighter depending on your preference and angle of vision <laughs> yeah music gal i mean i don't i don't intentionally abuse the right thumb you know, I, I feel guilty that I gamed until it was just like a little bit numb. <laughs> like literally, not exactly numb, kind of like a little bit of pins and needly, but not exactly. It's like that, that feeling in between pins and needles and numb, like where you're just like, oh my, it feels kind of funny. Um, so we'll have to see. I'm kind of hoping that that goes away sooner or later. I also don't want to like just like not game until it goes away either though so I'm gonna have to like game gently somehow oh, this nail this cuticle I swear to god oh, can you see this little piece right here I'm just trying to there we go but no patches you guys I mean I've got some displeasures with my cuticles and a couple nails right now, but overall, I mean, really pleased with, with my nails right now. Do I wish they were longer? Of course I do. But we just intentionally filed them Wednesday? Is that when we did that? Because 
I'm I'm just too clumsy to have long nails. I mean, that's something that I just have to accept. <clears throat> hey, Sharkan. A mani or petty, and you're choosing a manicure. That sounds like fun. Especially if they go to those ones where there's like snacks and beverages of the adult variety, perhaps, if you are old enough. But yeah, what a fun way to hang out with your sister. I have never had like a professional manicure. I just gotta struggle along doing my best. God, this hangnail right here, that's like at the most awkward angle. I'm trying to just snip it off without like making myself bleed. <laughs> There we go. <sighs> all right, so we've done all that. Let's take another look at this. I'm kind of leaning toward number four. Yeah, exactly, yo. I, I don't even know if it's the like, life I'd like because, like, I've broken nails on some of the dumbest... I mean, like, my dumbest nail break, I, I think, still remains the time I broke a nail on a bag of cheese. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I could think of some other dumb ones, but that is probably, like, the leading dumb one. Do we, do we want to just do like a white background like we have in the example here? Or do we want to like look for something else? I, I kind of, I'm kind of leaning toward the white. And I'm kind of leaning toward doing it with a, with a brush. Because like these are okay and I wasn't even trying that hard. We've got a lot of glitter residue in my acetone here. Let's clean that out of there. Really, Music Gal? That's a great compliment. Okay, let's... Oops, what? These cords are all caught up in here. Cords, please. Um... Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's Genesis. Plain white or shimmer white, y'all? Um. Ooh, this would also whoa fall under shimmer white. Uh, Aspen. Wow, Aspen, you're a lot whiter than Genesis. Um, that's not white. That's blue. That's not white. That's gold. That actually might be really pretty though. Like a satin gold. Why why isn't either purity or snow white in this drawer? Oh hey, look, it's my other bottle of Trixie. Um mm, Are you both in here? They are both in here. Okay. Purity and Snow White. Okay, I love that. Okay, if you're looking closely, I love that you can see the difference in whites on these. This one is just like a slightly bluer, and this is like a slightly creamier white. Does this make sense? Are you like, girl, those are just white? You don't need both of these regular people polish addicts you need both you 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 do <laughs> yeah uh what is her name i know her name she does some and really really long like the stiletto nails that like i would like literally skewer my eyeball on 
Um, but you can do so many cool techniques with acrylic. I've always been like moderately interested in it, but at the same time, like don't want to put it on my nails. Ah, Music Gal wants me to go the safe route so that I can have emergency cleanup if, uh, if I want to. <laughs> now, last time you suggested this Music Gal, if I recall, I was a rebel and I did not use Sesh Feet and then I regretted it. And I'm probably going to do the same thing. <laughs> Christy. Thanks. Thanks, Brain. Just took a while. <laughs> I'm Christy Meekin, and this is For Now Nails. Something like that. She's cool. She's so, like, energetic. I, I can't relate most of the time. I'm just, like, <laughs> a little maybe uh, crazed, exhausted, frenetic, but not too energetic. Mm. Okay, so let's just quickly swatch out these other ones. We'll just go over here. Cause there's like space left over then we can use the bottom some other time like genesis is i think too creamy and i don't remember if genesis has always been like this or if she's maybe aged a little bit yellow because i recall genesis being or maybe is there a genevieve maybe i'm thinking of genevieve i don't know but i think this is a little bit too creamy um aspen is a uh, matte velvet of course matte velvets can be top coated to be shiny and is just like a very sh ooh, aspen you might be it very shiny i'll give you guys a little closer look in a minute and then we have another matte velvet this is sue and sue is like a like a kind of a no sue's not gonna do it sue is too close to the uh to the gold pixie dust I really like Aspen though. Can you guys kind of see the sh there? A little bit of the shimmer? Yeah, we're going for Aspen. <clears throat> My nails? My nails are just natural. They're not, they're not gel or acrylic. Okay, put these back down here. Um, I guess I should probably put Purity and Snow White back in here, too, if they'll fit. Because they're supposed to be in there. Okay, thank you, son. So I'm not thinking of Genevieve. So, let's get the big boy. Oh, look, it's still on its... We got a dead ro a dead flower petal in there from the from the flowers. I've still got my uh, stargazer up here, but I think I gotta get rid of it probably after stream. Like it's still pretty, but it's looking kind of obviously old, and I could go pick a fresh one. So that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. Sorry for the shaking, guys. Yeah, I just took off my uh, my previous manicure, so this is just my naked nails. One of these days, I really do, though, you guys, have to, like, get on top of my shit, take my polish off, off stream, and give my cuticles, like, some actually serious attention. I'm not mad at them right now, but I feel like they could be even better. Oh, well. Um, do we have... Ooh, we are low on Q-tips. BRB traveling to the other side of the room. This is almost empty too. I wonder if these will all fit in my little... Uh, if I can get them out of there. Why do, why do they make Q-tip boxes so difficult to access with the little like door in the back of the package? Yeah, French nails are basically, like, they make your nails look like your natural nails, except they're, you know, with polish, but following the same basic lines. But creating it with the, like, more stark and even lines. Sometimes white, sometimes colored. I had the urge the other day to just do, like, a black tip French manicure. But I think that's when we put five rose gold rings on. 
Okay, so let's get a paper towel. We're ready to go. And let's prep with a little bit of acetone just to make sure everything is clean, dry, and every little last remnant of that rose gold is hopefully gone. Man, I'm, I'm still so nervous about this index nail where it has the little weak spots, but so far so good. I hope it can finish growing out. left hand done yeah it's I really I try to just like I don't know if I, this counts as like counting your blessings but like ooh you have a little just a little peel like appreciating my nails as they are like yes I really like them when they're longer but this is a pretty flattering length. I mean, part of the reason that I like them longer is just because I have more room to do nail art when they're longer. Other than, I mean, I think it's flattering aesthetically. Water marbling in particular, I mean, like the more, the more length you have, the more the water marble design you're going to get on your nail. Okay, this last little bit from under here, we'll be ready to start the tutorial. <clears throat> jade red? Is jade red? <laughs> There's, I guess that could refer to mold, that could refer to nail length as well, Dr. Crotron, yeah. <laughs> best slash worst quotes <laughs> oh thank you Atlas <laughs> Doc are you are you playing with your Gundams while you lurk inquiring minds want to know I feel like this just keeps slipping down and down sorry I keep messing with it I'm not going to be able to mess with it once my nails are wet so there we go peel off base Make sure to keep these in order. And let's turn this big boy on. I hope I have enough battery here. I think it's got a new battery in it. Hello, Angie. Eat slash kill your phone cord. Well, I hope she doesn't succeed. Beanie for a while was really bad at a uh, like cord chewing, and I think I've mostly he mostly leaves them alone now. Clark, thankfully, was never too bad with cords. He chewed the pedal off my well, not the whole pedal, but like the strap part off my stationary bike. That was a rude awakening. <clears throat> Starting off with clean, dry nails, we're going to begin with the base coat. Today I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. So you guys, speaking of peel-off base coat, did y'all see Christine's video today where she's using her new top secret hollow taco peel-off base coat on Sophia? Like, is this going to be the, the ready for takeoff killer? Hollow taco peel off base. And top coat. Like, I, I want to know, like, how long, like, when you consider the fact that she admitted that she was teasing us with the top coats for basically, or the, the toppers, the hollow toppers for like a whole year before they were released, like, how long are we going to have to wait for this peel off and top coat. 
the the peely taco and the and i'm gonna assume the thick glossy taco i mean people would just not be okay if she did not call it that people would people would riot in the streets <laughs> Mm. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly the top secret super glossy thick taco I, I just think it'll be interesting. Like, and it was interesting too, like from the little couple glimpses that I had, like the peel off didn't look cloudy, which like, you know, like ready for takeoff and like pretty much every other peel off that I've seen has like this sort of milky semi opacity to it. So it's like, man, are you like, you have some kind of starter from scratch, weird, different formula from everybody out there on the market. And I'm curious, like equally as curious as, well, I'm, I'm more than curious. I'm like in love with the hollow tacos like this. I, I need more info on Christine's peel off base coat. Cause there's no way, there's just no way that she would release a bogus one. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the launch collection is beautiful. I can't wait to see. I mean, I was already excited to see like what multi-chromes and other like really high quality opaque creams and stuff she brings. Need to make sure to let this fully dry. So let's have a sip of tea. I'm kind of sad Beanie never came back. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah next next century doc <laughs> god i can't imagine number one it's a shitload of work number two i don't have a couple hundred thousand dollars laying around to uh fund it like christine did mm. that's the last of my tea <clears throat> Doc, are you still planning to stream tonight? She asked curiously. I gotta plan my evening. What time is it? Five o'clock. Not sure yet. Okay. Nope, no pressure. Like, not. Oh. Like, no, like, really, like, no, no pressure. I'm just curious and I'd like to know. I'm so tempted to just take this off, but all I have underneath is like, uh, maybe I can tighten it a little bit with my wet base coat here. This is dangerous. Um, you know, what am I going to be watching while I'm eating dinner? What am I going to be having for dinner? This is also a question I should ask myself. And if, if there's nobody to entertain me, might I have to entertain myself? I know Trey Lala wanted me to stream because I think she said she had a long... Did she say she had a long night at work tonight? Or I forget exactly, but she likes watching you too, I know. Your face when she gave you the tier three was priceless. I should have clipped that because I think she was your first tier three. Music Al was my first tier three. Oh, thank you, Music Al. Yeah, it's not like it's a disaster under here. I washed it the other day and I put it in some pretty small twists and then I just... I don't know. I haven't felt like taking them down. So they're just like, you know, under there. And this, like, this scarf is so cute. Like, it's like purple, like snakeskin looking pattern. But like, it just doesn't have any elasticity to it. And so it just feels loose. Maybe I should like pin it onto my head. But now like my nails are semi wet and I'm just afraid to mess with it. Let's, uh, okay, let's do this. Where's, where's the end? Base coat's almost mostly dry, I think, I hope. Okay. There. Whoa. Tighten it up. Tuck this in. 
Okay, we're a little bit more secured now. Base coat survived unscathed. <laughs> I'm going to guess that's Heather. Welcome on in. Yes. Yes, in fact, it was a decade ago. <laughs> Probably. I started my, my blog in January 2009. <laughs> Welcome on in. Yeah, it's weird how it's like, at first it was like, oh, it's just some letters. And then like your brain fills in the missing letters. We are just about to uh, get to the actual polish section of our tutorial. So let's make sure these are all facing an appropriate direction. All right. <clears throat> camera, please. Tutorial camera. And for anybody new, we are at this very moment recording what will be my YouTube tutorial. <clears throat> the colors that I'm going to be using today are from Zoya. The dots are all going to be done with pixie dusts. We have Linz, which is the darkest pink. Miranda, which is also a pretty deep pink. Then we have Zoe, which is kind of more of a coral leaning pink and also has quite a bit of hollow in there, as you can see. And Levi, which is gold with a bit of hollow. For my base color, I'm going to be using um, Aspen from the shit this is very messy i should re-record this matte velvet yeah that needs a second take sorry <laughs> whatever what else i'm trying to think what else it could be you first found me on youtube <laughs> that good old autocorrect right <laughs> All right, let's let's try this again to do with without like stumbling over all my words. <clears throat> the colors that I'm going to be using today are mostly Zoya's from the Pixie Dust line. This darkest pink is Linz. Then we have Miranda. The slightly mm. more core. <laughs> it's showing up. I should just leave it. I get distracted though. Okay. First of all, Heather, thank you for the follow. It's not that I don't want to follow sound in my tutorials. It's that I lose my train of thought and then I'm just like distracted. <clears throat> you can say hi to YouTube, Dr. Crotron. This, all, all of this foolishness and foolery and fucking around ends up on YouTube. And people either seem to like it or it's just getting recommended to them in their sleep and they have autoplay on from some of the comments that have been left lately. They're like, I woke up to this. And I'm like, okay, so like, it's like the, it's like the kind of comment where you're like, is this a compliment or are they like mad about it? <laughs> like, it's kind of weird. So you actually found me from Twitch Athelis. That's so cool. But like, I mean, I don't know. Cause like, I, I have no idea how Twitch's recommendations work. <laughs> yeah, see you, the, your whole pyramid is showing there very neatly. And maybe somebody on YouTube will say hi back. Please say hi. I get so few comments on my live stream archives and I don't understand why. Is it cause people feel weird like chatting when it's not live. I still read, I try to read all my comments. I can't respond to every comment, of course, but I try to at least read through my comments. And uh, if there are questions, answer like any specific questions. Yeah, I suppose being a variety streamer, it starts getting me into people's recommendations where at some point they're like, wait a minute, why is nail art getting recommended to me? <laughs> All right, let's, let's, okay, third takes the charm, right? <clears throat> pro streamer, pro, pro YouTuber, pro nail artist, question mark? The colors that we're going to be using today are Zoya's. Most of them are from the Pixie Dust line. This darkest pink is Linz. Then we have Miranda. This slightly more coral leaning pink is Zoe. Also has quite a bit of hollow there as you can see a flash of. And then we have Levi, which also has some hollow in there. For my base coat, 
base color rather, I'm going to be using Zoya Aspen from the Matte Velvet line. We're going to leave that in. I mean, we're going to, we'll allow that. Not thrilled with it, but we'll allow it. Welcome back, Amethyst. We, uh, we went through some testing. We, uh, we had some emotions and some feelings, but we kindly, kindly, kind of have settled on uh, a manicure and hopefully I like it. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Like this isn't what I planned. Like I really was thinking that we were going to do some more like stripey kind of a thing. And uh, I just, I wasn't liking how these colors were doing the stripes, so. Instead, we are doing, um, we're, we're not going to call them pink snowmen, you guys. What are we going to call them? Um, the pom-pom stack? I don't know. <laughs> I do know. <laughs> when I told Ben how to water marble, that was fun. That was a ton of fun. <laughs> yeah, butt spot. <laughs> For the 12 year old boy and all of us. <laughs> the c not uppity! <laughs> Are you sure, Amethyst? Have you uh, changed your mind? So this one, we're doing number four. So starting at the cuticle, darkest, largest. But like, okay, so number one, it's not a snowman. Number two, it's not three portions. Like when have you ever seen a four portion snowman? I have not ever seen a four portion snowman. Portion? Is that what, what, what would you call their sections? Sections? portions balls um spheres i almost just said cubes and then i was like colette you're gonna make yourself look really dumb <laughs> graduated pearls yes the pink graduated pearls that's such a lie this uh graduated data cure thing grad actually graduated data cure might kind of work I don't know. This is the other reason I don't usually record my intro on stream. It's because in the intro, hopefully I'm referring to the manicure by the name uh, that the YouTube title will be. And sometimes I don't know what that's going to be when I'm actually recording the tutorial. Okay. We've got a hair on this nail. That's lovely. Get out of there. Okay. A tall snowman. Hating on the four sex so snowmen. Maybe it's a snowman with a hat. <laughs> Come to think of it, the one snowman I can remember doing on my nails, I think only had two segments. Because he was like on my pinky during one of my 12 days of Christmases. <clears throat> yeah, little pink caterpillars. I don't know. Graduated. Maybe, maybe it's something will come to us by the time we're done. An additional thorax. Wait a minute. Snowmen don't have thorax. No, wait. The bugs are, the insects have thorax. I'm like mixing the two. <laughs> Wait a minute, I missed something there. Come over here, cursor. Wait, it's gone? I thought it was still there, but it but she just didn't post to it anymore. Oh yeah. You I mean the, okay, so what you what you need for water marble? other than the basic supplies is a shitload of patience and the willingness to experiment and the understanding that you're not going to sit down and be good at it. You're not, you're not ever going to be good at it. You're just going to eventually 
through trial and error and like RNG, the nail polish RNG, you just eventually will get a good cup eventually. That's too many eventuallys, but it's fine. <laughs> How large are your spiders, son? I know the feeling though, because like as long as they're outside, they can they can coexist. <clears throat> testicles <laughs> oh, that's great that reminds me of you know one day I'm gonna do that one day I'm gonna do an April Fool's video and that's what I'm gonna use when I did the veiled marble and somebody said that they looked like like buttholes and I was like okay I kind of feel like I should do that like just get the tan colored base and do a pink veil and then their butthole nails I'm pretty sure that would get demonetized. <laughs> then again, who knows? Oh, that was that was a little sloppy. We might need a third coat here. Maybe. I'll decide once I'm once I'm done with all my nails. Probably should have been a little bit more aggressive on the first coat. Because there's going to be quite a bit of this showing through. So we don't want, like you can see like that kind of little, looks almost just like a shadow. Dries pretty quick though, so it's really not too much of a hassle if I need to do three coats. We sometimes get a... Uh, if you guys know what an orb spider is in our yard, where they build like these giant webs like stretched in between things. And like they build these webs and then they hunt for stuff at night or they wait for it to get in their web. And then like in the morning, they like, they consume their silk. They eat their own web and they kind of like lay low during the day. But like if you go out at twilight, like at sometimes like their favorite places to like string these webs were like, you know, across the fucking sidewalk. <laughs> inconvenient places like that and sometimes we have like the kind that build like little tunnely webs lots of daddy long legs and stuff in the strawberries and there's a really big jumping one that lives next to the door this year but as long as they don't like touch me blah, blah, we, we can we can coexist your dog ate a spider beanie oh beanie's not there Beanie will eat spiders, centipedes. Uh, there's a ton of grasshoppers and crickets in my strawberries this year that he loves. Hey, orange juice. <laughs> yeah, that's how it. That's how it be. Whoops. The uh, which I think is probably part of the reason why people do like watching like the. Uh, this is like. That needs to come off there. The uh, the live stream archives and stuff because there's so much fucking up behind the scenes, especially water marbles. Get off of there! I still didn't get the whole thing. It's stuck in the first coat that's already dry. Fuck. There. But uh, like it's it's almost always worth it <laughs> the orb butters yes that kini it does or at least i feel like it does and it also helps um with something that i don't usually have a problem with but i'm not i'm not sure if the wrapping is the main reason i don't um something called tip pull where like your your quick dry top coat can kind of like the polish just a little bit and kind of like pull it away from the tip so i find that it prevents that most of the time too i mean i do still get some tip wear but basically like if you wrap it then the edge is kind of like the edge of the polish is kind of slightly under the edge of your nail 
so then that edge of the polish is not like exposed to being bumped against things. I also like to do it because since I use a peel off base coat like I really try to seal it all in around the sides so it keeps the the peel off base coat from peeling up prematurely yeah I think I like you see there like it's decent if I depending on the nail art I was doing I could get away with this at two coats but you can see like it's not fully even coverage so we'll do three gel polish is I mean this is not like the neatest paint job and these little spots like right at the tip corner of my finger like I swear I have the chubbiest fucking sidewalls because they're impossible to avoid but like when I do gel polish I try to be really neat because you're not supposed to get gel polish on yourself because it hurts and because it can lead to allergies um both of which are uh, no bueno um, and then I was like, you know, I really should make more of an effort to be neat when I'm just regularly painting my nails. So I've been trying to lately. I mean, you would think as long as I've been doing my nails that I would be better at this, but it's like, as soon as I discovered cleanup brushes, I kind of just didn't even put any energy toward learning how to paint neatly. Why do I need to paint neatly? I've got a cleanup brush. It'll be fine. <laughs> but I mean, cleaning up is a little bit of work, so why not minimize, minim, minimize, minim, no, minimize, not minimalize, um, you know, the work, the amount of cleanup that I need to do. Sometimes I gotta be careful too, like this little edgy spot over there. As you paint your nails, you will learn what your own problem areas are, and sometimes they're just from like the perspective that you paint your nails, like I'm, you know, I'm back on this side so like over here if I don't like really make an effort sometimes it's just like I don't even see that I'm missing like a little strip of polish down the side until maybe I'm done and I'm looking at it at a different angle I'm sure like you music gal since you paint the other direction like you probably well that's probably better actually because you can really get different angles than just having it on the desk five years that's I mean that's a while I feel like I'm sitting here <laughs> when you know you're old you're like oh it's not too long and then you're like wait a minute that's like multiple years that is like a considerable amount of time mm. through cute Paul like recommended dino yeah wrapping the tips is harder when your nails are shorter because it's harder to avoid that tip of your finger part usually what I'll do if my nails are that short is I'll just accept that it's going to be messy and either use my cleanup brush on on that part of my finger also or just wait until it's dry and like just like peel it off I was actually having that problem just recently because we were doing what I consider like a protective manicure and I was painting the actual full underside of my nail which helps keep the nail from uh, absorbing water because you've you know basically covered up the spot where it could absorb and that usually leaves like quite a bit of polish behind on the underside but again very very worth it in my opinion all right this white is looking pretty good now nice and opaque see the thumb again you can see kind of like by the cuticle and just at the side it just looks a little less than ideal so that third coat just really evens it all out yeah I really it's interesting oops I didn't quit recording that like I wonder what it is like you know body chemistry wise that has some people uh, have problems with sesh feet Um, yeah, so what I do, Daikini, is I would recommend if you're, like, using a regular base coat, even wrap the tips with base coat. I don't wrap the tips with base coat because I use a peel-off base coat. But if you're using regular base coat, wrap the tips with that. 
wrap at least your first layer of color. I try to remember to do every layer and wrap the top coat too. Yeah, I just feel like I would be, even just doing this, I'm like trembling. Like I would be so shaky if I didn't have the, the desk to rest my hands on. Sheet cake time, hell yeah. Enjoy your cake, Amethyst. Let's, uh, oh, that's not the one I was using. This is the one I was using. We can reuse this again. We'll just, we'll turn it. We'll use this other end for, for the YouTube video. Just, it'll just show like a little corner. They'll never know it's already half dirty. Well, they will if they watch the live stream archive, I suppose, but the tutorial is all about the smoke and mirrors. <laughs> hmm. Recommended is so powerful. Like, I don't know. So many of my views come through recommended, which I definitely like appreciate, but it's also like those times when I fall off the recommended list, it's just like, you know, I, I think I don't have a huge percentage of subscribers with notifications turned on or something. I don't know. But like when I look at where my traffic is coming from, the recommendations is a huge, a huge portion like my shirt is like just slightly like riding up in the back in an uncomfortable fashion <clears throat> smells awful I don't mind the smell but I feel like nail polish has to really be like whew, in order for me to even like pay attention to it it's just like I guess a background scent like people talk about background noise I'm so used to nail polish that I just don't even notice puffed rice with a colored sugar coating that sounds delicious like a little like a little nestle crunch bar except like are, are they just colored or is it also like flavored are they like 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 fruity flavored or just like sugar flavored wait is it actually holographic top coat son or is it a different hollow top coat if they have holographic top coat again i need to get my butt to sally's or to Sally's website. <laughs> Just pure sugar. So it's like nerds. If nerds had a little crispy rice inside of them. I'm down for that. I am super down for that. Okay. Um, so we're going to want to start at the cuticle. And I'm just debating, like, so, of course, my pinky's smaller than my other fingers. Like, do I want to customize the size of these to the size of my nails, or do I just want to try and keep them consistent? <laughs> I think we want to keep them consistent. So. All right. We're going to be actually using a brush today instead of a dotting tool because that's what I was having success with when I was doing my testing. So, <clears throat> let's do that. For these dots today, I'm actually just going to be using a small brush rather than a variety of dotting tools. I've also got a little lid here, which is where I'm going to be placing out my polish. And starting with the darkest pink, I'm going to get some of that out. And start with the largest circle at my cuticle. As I move up, the colors are going to get lighter and the circles are going to get smaller. it's not oh man okay i need to move on i can see myself obsessing over these circles not being perfect i just need to get them like as round as i reasonably can without like obsessing okay that's not round that's oval you 
guys. Maybe I should have used a dotting tool. We'll see. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Just imagine background music here. Maybe imagine uh, unwritten return. <laughs> I think once I have the first one down, oh, that got weird. And yes, I know music, Al. If I put down Sesh Vite, I would be able to do things. This one's so weird. Oh my god. This is a mistake, you guys. Oh my god, and I'm I'm hitting my head wrap on the ring light. This is a mistake. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Say it one more time with confidence. Everything's gonna be fine. Let me get some clerks in chat. <laughs> It'll be okay. Clark emote, for anybody that's new, means either it's okay or what? Depending on whether or not he's surrounded by question marks. <laughs> oh, God. I regret everything. Look at this. No, they're so lopsided. <laughs> You're very close, music gal. I think there's an A in there. <clears throat> yeah, the next one will be able to even out the top edge. I feel like the bottoms are not even, like some of them have white at the bottom, and then this one is like really just hugging the bottom. And y'all, and y'all, we haven't even gotten to the point of trying to do this left handed. That'll be a fun adventure. All right. There's there's going to be many periods of concentrating silence. I need to think of something that I can just ramble about without the need for too much thought. Oh. I'm also like, I'm trying to make them pretty big because we've got four to go on top of it. And if it's not big enough, then we're going to run out of like size. Okay. Oh, son. I know the feels. Dino, we are not adding rhinestones. <laughs> ah. hmm. We're going to look at them this way. And we're going to carefully, like, even them out. Carefully. So carefully, you guys. So carefully. Needs more polish. See some of them, like see from here you can see like the ring finger, it's crooked. Need to like... <laughs> that's better it looks really big now though the pinky is mostly centered but I feel like I want to get rid of this this white on the bottom and make it just a little bit bigger
I feel like the index nail is not consistent. We need a little bit more, like a little bit more height. Like that. Is that better? That's better. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. Right? Okay. <laughs> yes, Daikini. <laughs> are you are you are you one of those uh, also glitter fans? Are you on Dino side? <laughs> Should I add a rhinestone? I think that's like I I this one right here. I just feel like I need to. Like, it's like so minor. <laughs> Rainbow all the things. Yeah, no, I'm trying not to worry about the tops. More like if they're centered and like the curvature on the side. That's pretty good. All right. So, I think I'm going to finish this hand first before I move on to the other hand. <laughs> Alright, so let's... Next pink. These two are probably the closest in color out of all of them. So, goal is for this one to be not quite as large. But large enough to have two more grade A grad graduations? Graduations on the top. So bigger than that. Like that? Yeah. I think that's our target size. About. Mm. Ooh. That one's a little tall. We can fix that. It's also a little bit lopsided over here. This is this is going okay, you guys. This this is actually going okay. As long as I'm patient. Look, this should be fine. That's too small. There's like just not quite chunky enough. Like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoa. Almost went too big on that one. No, that looks weird. Needs needs a little bit more height. Uh, how about this? Whoa. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of bet that's for me. It's actually not for me. Yay. No guilt for ignoring phone call. I don't like this one. There. Stop while I'm ahead. Stop! Doll's Kill has some really cute stuff, but it's like also like on the spendy side. 
to me. That's lopsided. Mm. Okay, stop, I think. Does the pinky need to be just a little bit bigger? Maybe just like a smidge. Okay. Those two are looking really close. I mean, look on the on the lid, they don't look that close. On the nail, they look really close. Of course, the bottom one is mostly dry now and the top one is wet. Maybe as it dries down, it'll get a little different. Well, we're in now. We can't stop now. I don't have that many hollow shoes. I do have a pair of hollow like Converse sneakers. But I just don't wear them very often because they're not fucking very comfortable. Mm. Wait, is this the is this the purple platforms? I used to know how to walk in heels, y'all. Oh, that's not that big of a heel. I could get down with that. Four payments of twenty-two dollars. Four times twenty-two is eighty-eight, y'all. I really like those though. Like they're cute as hell. Eight eye got the zipper for if you're lazy. Nice heel. Black heel. Some of the hollow combat boots I've seen have like a white heel, which is like I don't think I would like. Well, even these other ones. Y'all, I have a weakness for big ass platform shoes. I will admit it. I should show you guys all my shoes sometimes that I never wear anymore. Because I work right here at my desk and I don't need to have cute shoes on. Index. Oh! How did I do that? The fuck? Okay. No. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's going to be fine. I'm sorry, Music Gal. Music Gal thinking, if only you'd used such beat, Colette, like I told you to, we wouldn't be in this fucking situation. This is, this is fine. This is fine, you guys. <laughs> How did I do that, though? Like, literally, what did I, I don't even know what I did. Okay. I'm gonna clean off this brush get a little bit of this white and just like neaten that up a little bit and then get a little bit more of this out and like re re up the middle a little bit I can see like there look at that it's rucked up I'm trying to like pat it flat without pulling it back up Th this is why I wanted to finish one hand before moving on to the next because I was not confident in uh, avoiding oopsies. Okay. We're almost fixed here, guys. 
and just a little bit more of this pink polish surgery y'all Hmm. Okay. <sighs> no, she doesn't. Music Al is too nice to say I told you show. Show? But she would be fully within her white rights. I, I literally can't talk. <laughs> hella, hella hollow pasties. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that's stressful you guys <laughs> stress of my own creation like I literally don't know how I did that though did I just like I don't know camera please focus Moving into this lovely, the one that caught my eye out of all my pixie dusts and led to this fucking pink insanity that we have going on here. Still looking coral more than pink. All right, so even smaller circle, guys, like, that's kind of a lot. it's a little it's a little lump I need to like pull some of that polish off see what I'm saying here we're already like on a small dot the gold's gonna be like a baby a little baby okay that's hella crooked so crooked Okay. That's better. That's better. Um, a little bit more, a little bit taller. I think despite my best efforts, like the ones on the pinky are just like slightly, slightly smaller. I feel like I'm noticing it as I get more to the smaller dots that like the pinky one is not quite consistent, but I mean, it's pretty close. And here we'll cover up some more of that oopsie. Like that. I think we're pretty even. I feel like this one could be a little bit. Just a little bit adjusted. Pretty good, yeah? I mean, we'll even out the top when we get to the gold. I should just leave it alone. That second pink dot is too big on the thumb. Or not tall enough or something. Like, is it just me? The thumb looks weird. I don't want to, like... Can't identify, like, quite what the problem is. If you can't identify... Okay, I thought I just did it again. If you can't identify what the problem is, don't try to fix it. You have to have a plan to fix things. Oh, was it my... Okay. That actually makes sense. I could nitpick these so hard. I need to quit. I need to just like look and then like look away. You're getting lopsided, finger. I can see. Like it's.
Maybe it's partly this one. Oh, that would be really dangerous for me to mess with. I'm gonna do it anyway. No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. We're going, we're just gonna go into the gold. We're just gonna go into the gold without nitpicking is what we're gonna do. Get out the gold. We don't need much gold because it's literally going to be like a little dollop on the top. Just a little. Dollop. Should it be slightly bigger? Slightly. Hmm? You guys, what is this manicure on my nails? It's all pink and girly and reminds me of a circus. This is so not me. I have to, you know what though? I have to fix this one. It's bugging the hell out of me when I look at it in the camera. Like what's catching my eye is like the, the second dot on the, on the ring finger. So I'm gonna try to like, just give it like the smallest little additional edge here. Wait, which side do I want to put this on? Okay. I almost just made it fatter on the wrong side. That would have been super dumb and super a thing that I do. Better? Stop while I'm ahead, right? Probably. I should stop. You know they do I they do have a Christmas vibe to them. That looks so crooked. What is the problem here? I think I should stop. I know I should stop. Now it's lopsided, not round, not just off center. Okay, that's better. It's still a little bit wonky. Why is it so weird? Part of it is that my cuticle is not even on the snail. Like if you look like one side of the cuticle is kind of like almost straight and one side is rounded. I think that's part of what's making me have like an optical illusion here that the stack isn't straight is that my cuticle is not symmetrical. Like if, if both sides were straight like this side, then I think this would look fine. Okay, stop, stop what you're doing, Clit. Stop what I'm doing. <clears throat> I think hmm. the urge to just like go back and just like like on like literally every nail you guys I have to stop I have to stop oh definitely top coat definitely top coat
top coat yeah top coat I mean it, it's cute like this but like okay number one top coat is gonna do the white a lot of favors it's gonna bring out more of its shimmer camera's not doing too good at catching that hopefully you can kind of see what I mean there it's got like it brings out that iciness but like as far as for the pixie dust too like it's gonna make them sparklier see that see that sparkle popping out more in that pink um, and especially because the two darker pinks are so close to each other, I think bringing out their more unique under sparkles because the one definitely has more of like a gold undertone. And then this one is more like actually pink and like a little bit of silver. Number two, because shiny. Yeah. The white is not great at covering things up though. I got gold on the peach color. The fuck here? How did I manage that? You know what we're gonna do here? We're gonna clean up around the edges and think about our life. <laughs> clean up these this little white around the edges that we got before and if necessary like most of these came out pretty clean but just like super clean up the cuticle area to try and keep them all consistent got like a little sparkly bit in there it doesn't want to come out a little bit stubborn there beanie welcome back how you doing little boy Beanie was with us earlier in the stream and he uh I had promised him a treat if he came in here and then he kept trying to leave like before I gave him the treat and I would like show him the treat bag and be like no just like hold on a second and then as soon as he got the treat he just like still left. Let's see. I really did a pretty good job with the with the white. I definitely see a couple spots where the cuticle needs to get neat though. He's like instantly, he's like instantly so comfortable and asleep. You've been just having such a hard day, Beanie. So difficult being you, I know, man. Just had just the most exhausting nap possible on the porch, I bet. And of course, like with this, one of the reasons I'm doing all the sides first before going to the cuticle is you gotta, like whenever you are doing anything uh, and part of your design is white you need to be mindful when you get to your cleanup because if you have any like overflowing tinted acetone so to speak you could end up with a little tinted patch that's no longer white on your manicure so be mindful of that that's better in this case, I tried to mostly keep it neat, so there's not too much color cleanup that needs to happen, but there's a little bit. So you're just leaving that little pink residue on the paper towel. You don't want that pink residue on your nail. And finish off over here.
This one looks crooked. They're not all completely even, but I think I can live with them. Also, like this is one of my bendy nails anyway. So getting stuff to look straight on this nail is a challenge because of the uneven C curve. There is an angle. You see how that nail looks like it's straight on one side and it's curved on the other side? Like it is. So it's hard to get stuff straight on there. But I think this is like overall pretty good. Hey Trey. Oh! How is this still able to happen? How the fuck is this still not dry? Poor little right thumb, y'all. You just always there. I'll, I'll dab on some white too, like after I do the dots. I'm not gonna like fuck completely around with it. Yeah, we did quite a bit of testing, Trey, and I'm like, I'm of mixed feelings with this manicure. <laughs> Um, I don't know what to call it. We, we've had some issues, but I, I'm pretty happy with it. It's not what I planned. That always, you know, there's just that level of irritation when it's not what I planned. Yeah, you're probably, and you know what, from this, from this angle, well, not like from you guys' camera angle, but from like the angle I'm looking at it, it actually looks straight. I'm not going to mess with it for sure. No, we are. There's no cabin, Dr. Crotron, and the other hand is going to be the same colors. If you need to do any cleanup, you can go ahead and take care of that. And once you're ready, you can finish off with the top coat or you could leave it as pixie dust texture, but I like to make things glossy. As usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. Always gotta remind people that you can leave it pixie dust textured, but oh, oh, look at that, look at that, it's juicy. Mm. Um. Y'all. Correct answer is top coat. No. No top coat is also the correct answer. It's all, it's literally all your personal preference. Um. Visually. I could get down with either one. It also could be really cute and interesting and I might actually almost be more likely to do it if we had top coated the satin base and then leave the pixie dust pixie dust. Um cuz then you would have a nice you'd have a texture contrast which is I think pretty cool. Got a little crusty on my sesh feed brush trying to get that off of there but you know if the uh if the base was glossy and then you had just like textured pixie dust on top i think that would look really slick i just i literally don't like the feel of pixie dust on my nails it's so it's like uh like nails on a chalkboard except touch <clears throat> It, yeah, it's quite like sandpaper. N not quite as rough as sandpaper. It's like sandpaper if the sand was smooth. Does that make sense? Probably not. Little lobster claws, Dr. Croach. <laughs> yeah. The red mantis claw manicure. Also, did I know what Trey Lala said? I enjoyed the haul, the haul portion of last night's stream. We were additional, additional thoraxes, because it does have kind of like a bug vibe to it, like a bug sectional body. We might need a second coat of top coat actually. We're gonna just leave this for now though, because guess what? Other hand hasn't been touched, and we have work to do that may or may not be easy or hard. It's a surprise. 
How steady is my left hand today? Yeah, I like them. This kind of gets you like a little farther away. If it looks like it's just... It's one of those things where you might could notice it from a distance and see that somebody has nail art, but you don't actually like can see what the nail art is until you get close. It's just like a little... It's a little fun accent. I like them. I like them. I don't love them. But you know what? You can't you can't love everything. There's just not enough room in your heart. Um for real though. Like you you're not going to fall in love with every single manicure that you do. That's just unlikely. So let's just go for it. I think kind of having a goodly amount of polish on the brush for this helps also. Because you're almost like pushing the edge of the surface tension rather than strictly painting, if that makes sense. Is this an okay angle for you guys? Yeah. Oh, need to be bigger. Need to be more on this side. And once we get like the first color down and the first couple done, we'll have kind of like a good baseline to just keep going without having to like compare it to the other hand, I think. That's mm. ah, okay, because we're going to cover up the top. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Time to clean yourself and cook. Thank you for hanging out, Dino. What are you, what are you cooking? Tell us before you leave, please. Please, please. I want to know. I'm nosy. What's for dinner? I haven't decided what's for dinner. I have leftover enchilada casserole, but I kind of feel like I should maybe save that for before stream tomorrow because I always have such a hell of a time like deciding what to eat and like eating in order to have stream on time. This needs to be a lot bigger. It's, it's mostly centered right now, so that's good. Hmm. Oh, that's so weird. That's very wonky. Wonk. Wonk, 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 wonk. Chicken pot pie. Bigger. It needs to be bigger. It needs to be a little bit more on the inner side. Like over here. Yum. Dinner. Okay. That's it still looks small like compared to I feel like I need to make it a little bit bigger still excuse me like not necessarily too much taller but like a little bit wider Like that. This is okay. I think that's that's pretty good, yeah? And pretty good in line with the pinky too. I think we'll stick with that. going on with Beanie. He's back and he's napping. He's very comfy. You need a dark aluminum. Is that so much to ask? Do you not have a dark aluminum? Is that what you're saying? Oh, for dry brushing. I was going to say, it seems like that would be another good thing to do, like the layers over that chrome you were doing, like when you were doing the, the teal blue. 
this polish got kind of dry too so I'm just getting some fresh um, sometimes it's okay when it's like a little bit sticky but it is actually like a lot easier to work with and we've got a we've got a little dent there I'm not worried about that because we're literally about to cover that whole thing up like that oh goodness Julia hello welcome on in Raiders can I get a mod to please give Julia a shout out we are uh, we're, we're done with one hand well it might need like one more coat of top coat and now we're attempting to draw halfway decent circles left-handed so and keep things still centered and even how was your stream with the cute kitties have to jet to work oh have a have a not sucky day at work i hope <laughs> and thank you again for the raid i i'm having a it's a good stream i'm not fully pleased with the manicure <laughs> just because i've had some issues but we're having a good stream good streams make even sucky manicures all right <laughs> did he Oh, it's because he hears food out there. That's why. Out in the hallway. He'll be back in a minute and he'll be licking his chops. So I decided, for those of you just joining us, to not use dotting tools because these circles are so large and we're bravely going forward with freehanding things. And the other hand turned out decent, pretty decent. So I don't regret the decision, but I also feel like I should try to be prepared next time and like make myself a homemade bigger dotting tool than what I currently have. Also, like, I don't know. Can, can somebody with, with smarts, why are dotting tools always round? Like, with the bigger ones, especially, like, it seems like that gets to be... That's not large enough, is it? It doesn't match the middle nail. With, with bigger dotting tools, especially, like, it feels like that makes it start to get difficult. Like, why don't we have, like, a flat, round dotting tool? Would that just, like, not work properly? Or, like, am I missing something? It feels short. We need a little bit more on the top area. And of course, if we mess up the top, we can just slightly cover it with the next color. So that's okay. Yeah, round like spherical, like, 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 like. Why, why aren't they shaped like the top of a nail, a, a, a hammer and nail? Not like. Oh God, this thing is just. Oh man. I don't know if this thing's gonna last till the end of stream. Part of it, I think, is because I'm like leaning down, and so my very cute little twisty tie thing in the front is like weighing down. It's actually like heavy. I mean, it's not like heavy, heavy, but it's like it's heavy enough that it is creating a pull of gravity. Um, but yeah, like, why aren't they like the top of a nail head, like round and flat? I should experiment with this. Or like different shaped dotting tools. You guys know there was a time, a particular, oops, trip to Michael's, when I was like, ooh, I should carve my own stamps. So I bought this piece of stuff. It looks like a giant eraser. And I think I, oops. I also got carving tools to carve this thing with. That's... I'm going to have to... Or do I need to make it... Well... So this is the same with this thumb. You can see the cuticle is not like an even playing field here. I'm trying to decide if I need to like expand the circle or if I need to like clean that up with a little bit of white. I feel like the circle could be a little bit bigger compared to the other thumb. Maybe I can just like stealthily stealthily like maybe stealthily is not the right word but like bring it up like this 
and just sneak and round it out right there like that hey that's not too bad we'll go with that hmm that's cold though All right. Next pink. Um. So, like I said, this is the one. Hey, Bane. Like where I have to be careful not to make it too small. Because we got two more after this that need to also be gradually smaller. That's not even, is it? No, it's not. Did you stuff your face? You licking your chops? Get yourself all cleaned up here, mister? And a part of me is like, well, okay, so the, the bottom dot was really big, but why aren't you using a dotting tool for these smaller upper dots? Like this one, I probably could get away with a dotting tool, but... I mean, what was happening to me in that one looks, little experiment is pretty standard for me in dotting tools. Like, I have a hell of a time maintaining the same size dot. And I even know why. Like, it's two main reasons. Oh. This is fine, but this is why this is the cheap brush set. I mean, <laughs> I actually made that a little bit big compared to the pinky on the other side. We're going to go with it, though. I mean, we're not going to. Let's try to be careful on the next one. A little bit wider. A little bit more. I'll try to keep this centered as we're making it slightly wider. That needs to be bigger. A little bit bigger here. A little bit bigger here. I keep I keep getting paint in the palm of my hand because I'm holding the brush and then I'll turn it to see my hand and then the brush ends up right there. Okay, carefully. It's much easier, of course, to make things a little bit bigger than a little bit smaller because... These are both rough and quite pigmented, and the white is not super pigmented. See, like, that's too small. That's way too small. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. I feel like this is still of course all both of these nails are go we're going to run into the same problem of we've got uneven c curves we've got dips on one side and kind of uneven side walls so we need to be careful to like make it as straight as as we can but not like get overly like stressed out about it because it's just probably not ever going to look straight from every angle because the nail itself is not straight I feel like these are almost all going to have to be like a little bit bigger. But let's let's do these last couple and then compare it to my other hand. Mm. 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 See, and then these, like this middle one is like squat and this one is like tall. I, I don't know which one is better. Do I want to like cover one up or do I want to make one taller?
Okay. When the thumb is somehow accidentally the best. Whoa. When you almost accidentally smear your nails. Okay, so... I feel like they all, except for probably like the pinky, could be like a little bit wider. They're like kind of the right height, but not quite wide enough, I think. So the trick is going to be keeping them even. So just keep a careful light touch and go a little bit at a time. That's better. Yeah, we'll just kind of like that. And then like that. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I keep having to put out a little bit more. So it just keeps getting thick on me. Probably partly because I'm just reusing the same old spot on the lid, and so it's like mixing with the old, slightly dry polish too. Which is just laziness and using a small lid that doesn't have a ton of space on it. I think the thumb is fine. I think these look better now. Mostly. I, f I feel like the ring finger is lopsided, but like when I look at it from this way, it's like not lopsided, but can we add just a little bit more like on this side? Like that. That still looks weird and chunky. Stop. stop I almost made it too big I still feel like okay I'm I'm leaving the ring finger alone but this one needs a little bit more like that and this one too Like, nope. Mm. Okay, stop. I literally, I have to remind myself like out loud or I'm just gonna like keep going and messing with it. <sighs> the ring finger? Yeah, fuck. I feel like I'm so close to messing up this ring finger. Eh. Eh? <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. All right, some smaller ones. We're getting to the easy part now, right? Just like that. Not like that. No. No. It's like a t like a like a egg. I 
don't like this. I might need to touch that up with a little bit of white. Seems overly wide. Or is it perfectly fine and it's that the pink underneath it isn't quite wide enough? No, it's overly wide. Can I? Maybe I can. I know I'm off camera. I'm, uh. Okay, did that help? I think that helped. Dog Master! Hell yeah! If he is still going when I am finished shortly here, that is for sure where I'm going because he's been getting things set up for quite a while. I don't think I've ever actually seen an actual Dog Master stream. Only like I'll see the notification that he was doing a testing stream and I get ready to like roll over there and he's like already finished. That's too small. That's too small. That's better. I, I feel like... I mean, okay, I, I don't expect this to be as good as my other hand because, I mean, we're doing this left-handed, but... I feel like I was getting more even graduated proportions on the other hand, I don't know. Maybe that's just my imagination. Like there. Do you know what I mean? I feel like these, like, compared to, like, these, I don't know. I just feel like my, my portions are just, like, slightly off. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm hungry. What am I going to eat, you guys? That's too big. That's way too big, Colette. What are you doing? Fuck. Or the pink one under it is too small. Which one is it? I think the pink one under it is too small. Man. It is Saturday. It could be nachos. Yeah. I feel like I kind of need to. Like, whoa, whoa. jumped i swear to god it just literally jumped out of the bottle that wasn't my fault that was not my fault it wasn't my doing at all the polish has a mind of its own this is horrible Now we're lopsided. Okay, we need to add a little bit more on the other side. I don't know if I'm helping you or hurting you, little right thumb. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's horrible. What am I doing? <sighs> so chalky. Mm. Hey, good shit, Doc. Yeah, do you have a plan? You know what? We're moving on to the gold. <gasps> Whoa, the gold is still open and you cannot move it by its top, Colette. Fuck. I should always just close polish. Famous fucking last words. <laughs> hmm. All right, carefully. Carefully. Mm. 
it's too small. Y'all, this is so hard. You know what this looks like. It's not what we're naming it. Scoops of ice cream. That's what it looks like. The pinky is an A student. Pinky's looking good on that one. The thumb is like C, just straight C, if not C minus. It's like just getting by. Barely a pass thumb, barely a pass. Fuck, even more now. <laughs> okay. We are going to make a couple little small corrects with white because we got these couple divots on the side that we certainly need to take care of. Crow sip is good. I wouldn't be mad at crow sip at all. Mm, I mean, we already got crow judge and crow awe, which are like my favorites. I also quite like crow go. I've been using crow go more lately. maybe we'll see we'll see how well this white behaves as far as like correcting things so like we'll do this little spot here and here and then like like that I feel like And can you even tell what I'm doing? Like it's so minor. I think also just like right. I, I think you guys that's where I'm gonna stop I don't want to like push my luck that looks kind of weird I'm hoping top coat will, will smooth this out a little bit more too because it does look a little bit there okay stop stop what you're doing Colette stop while you're ahead Yeah, I'm really, like usually I at least have an idea of a name, probably partially because some things are just called like what they are. It's a blue gradient. It's a pink water marble. I really, we're, we're almost to the end of stream. Can I possibly keep this scarf on my head? I will tell you guys, if I stream this evening, you will probably see a different scarf on my head because this one is just fucking distracting. All right, getting in there and doing a little bit of cleanup. Very, very moderate amount of cleanup. Which one? This, this one? I'm, I'm so tempted to mess with it more, but the white is very, like, odd. If the white were more opaque, I would probably try to go in for more corrections. 
but it's like you either got to lay it on kind of thick or you got to be correcting a part where like you didn't get a full opaque layer of the color for it to be super effective. Okay. Then we'll top coat this and see what we think about giving the other hand a second layer of top coat. And then we'll probably call it a stream and I will take a dinner break at the very least. Plans for this evening are uh, up in the air. So stay tuned to discord exclamation point discord for a link mm. that, that's also yeah what are those there's a name for those i mean other than just like little rock towers like i think there's actually a name for them a cairn like a little small cairn i don't think i can call this pink cairn and nail art though because nobody would know what i'm talking about and I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. But I think y'all know what I mean. We've got all kinds of sparkles going on on the side here. Get out of there. Get out of here. <laughs> In your heart. It's just like the one uh, water marble I did. It had a red glitter base and then the the marble on top was clear and white. I think I did eventually end up putting it in the title because just everybody was like, dude, it's glam bacon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, it would also make sense since, since sun, blah, 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 because the snowman would be the three parts that are pink and then the gold part could represent their little hat. Or it could be a four-part snowman. I know apparently that does exist. Apparently. What time is it? Okay, 6.30. That's actually not too bad. Uh, considering we started an hour late. Um, it's been a long time since I started the Saturday stream promptly at 2 o'clock. And I really do feel like I should apologize to you guys. But... I just try to do my best to keep you updated in Discord so I'm not, like, leaving you guys hanging. I just, I don't know. I have a habit of staying up way too late, but still wanting to get up, like, before noon. Like, there's nothing wrong with staying up late, but, like, I still need sleep, so it's like, I'm, I don't know. I've been shorting myself on sleep, and that's not doing anybody any fucking favors. Cause I get grumpy when I'm sleepy. Mm. Pronounced like Kern? Really? Like a Kernel? Well, not, I mean, first, you know, you know, Kern. Yeah, I know. And then, too, it's like, man, everybody probably expects me to be late. If I was on time, probably nobody would be there. <laughs> One day I'll get my shit together. One day I'll get my shit together. I just need a thick glossy top coat for my life. Just to smooth out all the lumps and bumps and make everything beautiful. Um like for real though <laughs> you were napping so you're glad i'm like i'm i'm really glad i really do appreciate you guys it's like whatever time i do end up streaming you guys are always so nice to me and and evening streams too although i've gotten kind of away from doing nail streams in the evening just because I had a couple times where it was like things did not go according to plan and I was doing nails way later than I wanted to do nails. 
Um, I think for evening nail streams, I really need to kind of force myself to not be, it, it either needs to be strictly an experiment stream where I'm not expecting to do a manicure at the end of it, or a manicure stream based off of a previous experimenting stream where we already know what we're doing. Not trying to experiment and manicure in one stream. So like, they're not bad. There's still a little bit of texture there. What I'll probably do is wait for this hand to dry a little bit more so that I can do the second coat of both at the same time. The other reason I didn't want to go too overboard with the white. Oh, camera's not going to show it. In person, I can absolutely see. You can kind of catch a little bit of it there. I can absolutely see where I dabbed on those extra bits of white. Top coat didn't fully like mask that. And I didn't want to have like a lot of that on my nails, especially because I think like it would be even worse because the nails are, uh, or the corrections would have been over pixie dust. So it would have been over texture. <laughs> oh gosh, that's way too much as Donna poured out. Oh, well, good thing it's cheap and good thing it evaporates quickly or not a good thing that it evaporates quickly, but it does evaporate quickly. So, oh God, I'm leaving glitter everywhere. See that little silvery Dangers of pixie dust, y'all. Oh. Gradient pixie spheres. I do feel kind of like gradient should be part of the title somewhere. Or we could get alliterative. They could be the pink pixie polka dots. That sounds so cheesy. I don't know if I can actually do that. I don't know. Or y'all watch. I'm going to end up going full on generic. It's just going to be pink dots. <laughs> when in doubt, just stick with full on descriptive, boring name. Um, just getting a little bit of this extra polish off of the sides of my fingers here to give this hand a little bit more time to dry. Cause like one thing is with, um, like when you do a second coat of things to help even it out, I do feel like it helps for the first coat to be mostly, if not fully dry, because otherwise, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to level out as nicely with the second coat. Mm. Some dots and stuff. You can kind of see See how it just like the, the tip of the nail looks very smooth, like paying attention to the reflection of the ring light, but you see how it gets just a little like dimply and dapply over the dots, dimply and dapply over the dotties. So yes, yeah, sunset snowman. I mean, sunset snowman is either doubly or triply alliterical, depending on if you go via word or via syllable. Okay, going super thick on this coat. Oh, I should maybe be recording this. Oh, well, too late. Oh, just remember to mention that in the outro. That you may need two coats of top coat. Depending on your type of top coat and your own personal preferences. Wow, that was a lot. Oh, oh, it's so smooth. Okay. So satisfying. being super super careful of this edge too because that's my it's my damaged edge that we're trying to grow out uh oh got a little loose piece of glitter oh well it's not too noticeable so now can you tell the difference there I don't think it shows up super great on camera but gonna go ahead and do this hand now too hopefully it's had enough time to set and then I'm gonna be calling at the end of stream I hope you guys will stick around for the raid and I may be back this evening depending that was almost bad
Almost. <sighs> Graduated gradation. Oh, globs. I thought it said globes at first. Could be both. Graduated graduated gradation globby globes or globy globs or glo globs of globy globs I mean how can we not put glom in there if we're going to go on a G alliteration all right You want to race, Dr. Croatron? Race, race 106 or race something else? I mean, a 106 race. I mean, maybe if you reset enough at times, I can win a 106 race. <laughs> mm. Mm. Race run to un. <laughs> Hmm. We'll see. I gotta see. I don't know. I got. I okay. It's six forty-five. I need to. Well, I need to make sure that I let these dry before I move along. I need to decide what we're actually calling them so we can record an intro and outro. I need to change my headscarf. Um. Maybe. Maybe. A race? I mean, I like racing. Even though I never win, I like racing. I also just like watching. I will confess. It's like why I hesitate. Like, well, but if you're gonna stream, why can't I just sit back and watch you stream? But I also like hanging out and chatting, so... It's like, which thing do, that I enjoy am I gonna do? Ooh. Saturday shenanigans with pancakes from Ash. Looks like she's fighting the Radiance. But we're going to go head over to see Dogmaster. Um, who is doing a run to Un, which is getting to Un as quickly as possible. Commercial, please complete yourself. Yes, but they're still good ones, Musical. Um, let me post up. Okay, so anybody new, please feel free to join my Discord. It's where I announce when I'm going to be tardy. It's where I announce unscheduled streams, such as this evening's probable stream. It's where we share nail pics and pet pictures and all kinds of stuff like that. And I think it's a pretty cool place to hang out. I will post there later once I uh, figure out what's going on this evening. Uh, Dogmaster is... Uh, I see some of you are already there. I can see Sun in there making mids. Sunburnt. <laughs> With the Julia Hart cat mid. <laughs> yes. I, I try to... I mean, like I've said before, uh, you know, don't just come around like negative attitude, but if you need to vent, like vent and then like absorb the good vibes. Cause I try to keep everything pretty good vibes stream and discord both. Um, and, uh, you know, just, uh, th like discord is, I'm, I'm so pleased with the discord. I tell you guys all the time how like proud I am of how nice you are as a chat. I'm super proud of you guys as like what you have turned my discord into too, because you guys keep my Discord hopping with all kinds of good shit. Literally. So, um, yeah, Dogmaster's playing Hollow Knight. If you are unfamiliar with Hollow Knight, this is probably what I'm going to be playing if I stream tonight. Um, and it's an awesome game and, and you should play it. So, uh, yeah, go... You know what? Is there actually... How is there not an actual pyramid emote? I was going to say we could spam those, but... Uh... Um, raid message could be, um, this run to un, whoo, I, I auto raided and I forgot that it did that. Oops. 
Um, let's unmute this. Oh, what an adorable raid alert! <laughs> Alright, now before I forget, because we are like moving into Loopyville, because I probably need food. Um, everybody on YouTube, thanks for hanging out and watching the uh, archived live insanity. If you love nail art, I sure hope you will uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, My Simple Little Pleasures. And if you would like to join me live, um, yeah, twitch.tv slash MSLP. I'm a spaz most of the time. Um, and uh, Twitch, Twitch is a good thing. If you are unfamiliar with Twitch, you don't have to sign up to watch. You only need an account if you uh, plan on chatting and lurkers are uh, very, very welcome. So if you want some more YouTube stuff, boing! don't know why there was a sound effect for that, but, but there was, there will be some end cards there. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>